Brothers Truck Parts Workshop. All right, folks, we're continuing on with our 1979 C10 project. We've already changed out the dash pad. We're going to make it look even better with a new bezel, and we're going to rebuild our gauges. Yep. So I got a bunch of parts here, and um, basically what we're going to do, you know, install a new bezel. That's going to take care of the majority of it. But I didn't want to leave anything out this week, so I got ourselves a new heater AC control, a new lens, I got some needle paint here. We're going to paint the needles on the gauges to make them look fresh. And there's something that I really like to do is I like to take the old 194 bulbs out and replace them with these new LEDs. They're far brighter than the originals and they'll last basically forever, which is kind of cool. So um, once Sam gets that out, bring it over here, take care of all this stuff. Uh, while I shake the paint up, Sam's going to go ahead and take the screws out that hold our lens on. Once we get that out, we're basically going to take a soft cloth wipe the whole thing down, get 40 years worth of dust off the gauge faces and, and generally everything else. And then um, I'll go ahead and paint the needles nice and bright again. And then we'll talk about changing out our bulbs and making sure that our uh, printed circuit board is in good shape. And be careful with your needles. They're plastic. You don't want to break those off. Take your time. Um, you know, it'll come out nice if you take your time and uh, just do a solid job. Just be careful with everything. Once again, this stuff's 40 years old or more, depending on what you're working on at home. And don't use any sort of solvent on a rag like brake cleaner, because a lot of you guys are going to want to do that and wipe the faces of those gauges off, because you will smear the numbers right off. Yeah, that's true. I have had good luck. Um, you'd want to test this ahead of time. I've had good luck with uh, using furniture polish, because it gives a nice shine to the front of the gauges. Uh, right now, I'm just wiping them down. I'll give that rag back to you, and I'm going to go ahead and start painting these. Take your time doing this. It's tedious work, but the end result is going to be so worth it. Yeah. When you're driving your truck the entire time and you're looking down at your dashboard, looking at your gauges and your instrument cluster, it's going to be such a good feeling knowing that everything looks so new and good. It takes you back 40 years. And I like how you said truck there, but um, actually, it doesn't matter what you're working on. This all, all this process applies to everything. Any kind of car you're working on, really. That is the truth. I'm installing my LEDs into the panel, and uh, you're going to want to hear them pop when you put them in the socket. That way you know they're all the way in there. And then they can be a little tricky to get back in the housing, but put them in and twist. Here's the thing. LEDs are polarity sensitive, so when you plug your bulkhead back in here, don't have the dash already attached. Plug a bulkhead in, turn your lights on, make sure all your LEDs are working. If they're not, pull them out, turn them 180 degrees, put them back in. That's a great point. Yep. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Looks like new. Minimal time, very minimal cost, and look, it looks brand new. Let's go ahead and install it. All right. Man, Steve, that looks really good. It really set off the interior of this truck. It does. It completed everything, except now that we fixed that big, giant hole in the dash, we're not going to be able to put that crummy aftermarket radio back in, so we're going to have to add some modern technology to this old classic. Absolutely. We can do that next week, so make sure you guys join us to watch the radio install, the kick panel speaker install, and don't forget when you're reinstalling the cluster to hook up the speedometer and wipe off your fingerprints.